Hey everybody, sorry about that. Camera just turned off. Don't know what the hell happened. Um, but this is gonna be really quick. If you didn't see the first part, you need to go see the first part so that you understand what the hell I'm talking about right now, okay? Um, this person has a lot of regrets for the way that they treated you. The emperor is coming up, um, very arrogant energy, very um, I want what I want when I want it type of person. Um, somebody that thinks that they are a king, kind of king-like. <laughs> the emperor at times can be very arrogant, can be very extremely confident, knows what they want, very strategic, but at times the strategy can be very manipulative. So this person's strategy towards you was not the right one and it made you feel like you were being juggled and it was putting you in a hostile situation. So Knight of Wands being here with the Ten of Pentacles, they are still going to come towards you because they're very sexually attracted to you. Um, it's almost like your your energy is unmatched when it comes to that specific scenario. You may not want to go towards them, but at the same time, you do have love for this person, whoever this is. So I don't feel like it's over. I don't know. I, this this was a little strange. Take the energy if it resonates. Remember, please watch the other video. Uh, but I don't know if you're going to go towards it, but I don't know if you're going to walk away either. High Priestess is here. It's like Spirit is telling you to use your intuition when it comes to this person. Um, let your intuition guide you on how you're going to move forward with them. Because the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. It's almost like, no, you're not going to be by yourself. Queen of Cups right next to it. You got some love for somebody, so you may not be by yourself. <laughs> um... What is the outcome here? Is this reading? Oh, I hate when I have to do a part two because it pisses me off. Um, what's next for this, whoever these people are? Careful what you choose. Careful what you choose. If you feel like you have to fight for your position, then leave the position. That's how that's coming out to me. If you feel like you have to fight for your position, then there is no position. You'll go back into hermit mode and you will be alone. Um, only because you're tired of picking the wrong cup all the time. And this person has a tendency to be, it's like, I don't know if you are with a reformed player or something, but they still got a lot of player ways about them that pisses you off and that really, that's not where you are in life right now. So whoever this is, if they want you back, they're going to have to change a lot of shit, tighten all the way up, or you are not going to stay around for this. It's like you value yourself way too much, and you're investing in things that are going to invest in you, especially coming up as a magician and a star, like you're changing your life. So this person can be cut out of the situation. There is no permanent position when it comes to you. If this person is not serving your highest good, if they are standing in the way of the hard work that you have done on yourself, the hard work that you are building with your firm foundation, they will not be a part of the foundation. They get that now. I, I think they understand it because you can be very vulnerable at times and your vulnerability is what actually attracts this person to you. And the Ten of Cups right behind it because this is what they want. Nine of Cups, the bottom of the deck that you don't see coming is this person coming to you with a very strong apology. It seems small at first, but it's about to be this person is going to try to get you back. This is somebody that wants to get you back. They know what they missed out on. Completely. Truth is here. Wow. This person is going to come to you with the truth. They know now. If they don't want to lose you, they have to always tell you the truth regardless of how fucked up it is. Regardless of what it looks like. Regardless of... If it puts them in a bad light regardless if they made the wrong decision they have to tell you the truth because that's how you live your life you live your life with truth um you're not afraid to tell this person the truth so they can't be afraid to tell it to you either if they do that it will be a triumphant success because they're going to learn about themselves they're going to learn about you they're going to learn about this dynamic that the two of you have but if they don't tell the truth Choose wisely right behind it. You will walk 
the hell away and you won't even think twice about it you're you're pretty you're pretty good at cutting people off cutting off dead weight this person is trying to learn from you on how to do the same thing with people that used to be in their life mental conflict at the bottom of the deck you cause this person <laughs> You fuck them up in the head. Every time you do stuff, it throws them all the way off. That they got to think, that they got to go back, and they thought they knew, but they really didn't. When they talk to you, they realize, like, this person, um, they know that you're very, um, you're able to do whatever the hell you want to do. You're able to be with whoever the hell you want to be with. You're able to be alone. You are a force to be reckoned with. So this person needs to get their shit together very quickly. Awareness is here. When it comes to obstacles and challenges, passion is ignited. So that's why I say y'all are close than y'all aren't. Y'all are close than y'all aren't. When there's an obstacle, some type of challenge, it causes passion to be ignited between the two of you again. This is a doozy. So just use your intuition when you're going towards this. Choose wisely. Um, this person needs to choose wisely when it comes to you and they need to value the relationship that they actually have with you because it's special and it's not something that comes around all the time. Like you are one in a million. And they need to understand that. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Go watch the other video so you know what the hell I was talking about in this video. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.